Hi, and welcome back to City and County Credit Union's Money Lessons for Kids. I'm Lucy, and I'm so excited that you're tuning in because today we're going to be doing one of my all-time favorite things, and we're going to read a story together. But before we dive into the fun, let's first go ahead and grab all the supplies that you're going to need for today's video lesson, as well as the at-home activity. So first things first, you can go ahead and grab a pair of headphones so that you can listen and follow along. Next, you wanna grab some coins, so maybe that's in your piggy banks, or maybe you just have some spare change sitting next to you. And last but not least, you're going to want to download the activity sheet that's in the description box below. And if you have a printer at home, you can print it out so you have a hard copy sitting right next to you. Once all that's done, then you can come back and join me for today's story time. So for today's story time, we are going to be reading Mall Mania, and this is by Stuart J. Murphy. On Mall Mania Day, the 100th person to enter Parkside Mall would get lots of gifts. The chess club from Wilson Elementary was there to do the counting. Jonathan, Nicole, Gabby, and Steven stayed at the entrances to count shoppers. Heather, the club captain, and Mr. Grant, the advisor, waited in the food court to give out the prizes. They all had walkie-talkies. The first people Jonathan saw was his friend Brandon and Brandon's sister, Brooke. Bye, Brandon. See you later, said Brooke as she ran into the mall. That's one, counted Jonathan. Brandon stayed outside with Jonathan. I hate shopping, he groaned, but we have to buy a birthday present for our mom. Brooke's going to find something and then come and get me. Sports has donated two football tickets for the winner, said Mr. Grant. I hate football, grumbled Brandon. It's not as good as basketball. Listen up, said Heather. How many shoppers have come into the mall so far? I've had seven, said Nicole. Three over here from Stephen. Four here at the north entrance, said Gabby. Just two here, said Jonathan. Hmm, not quite right for mom, but it looks great on me, said Brooke. Nicole and Gabby, add that up, ordered Heather. I'll add the numbers one by one, starting from the top. Seven plus four equals 11. 11 plus three equals 14 and 14 plus two equals 16. I'll rearrange seven, four, three, and two to make them easier to add. Seven plus three equals 10, and four plus two equals six, so if we add those together, we get 16. I got 16, said Nicole. Me too, said Gabby. A slow start, said Heather. It'll pick up, said Mr. Grant. Then he announced the Seafood Shack had just donated a free fish dinner. Fish? Yuck, complained Brandon over the walkie-talkie. Heather let about 10 minutes go by. Okay, she said. How many more people have come in since the last count? Eight at east, said Nicole. Eight at west, said Stephen. I've got seven, said Gabby. Self-report seven from Jonathan. No... This isn't mom's style, but it just matches my eyes, said Brooke. Jonathan and Stephen, you do the total, directed Heather. I know. 7 plus 7 equals 14, so 8 plus 7 is one more than that. That's 15. 15 plus 15 equals 30. I'll rearrange the numbers so the doubles are together. 8 plus 8 equals 16, and 7 plus 7 equals 14. If we add those together, we get 30. The total is 30, said Jonathan. That's what I got too, said Stephen. Heather took out her calculator. With the 16 we had, that's 46, she said, close to halfway. All ears just donated the latest CD by A to Z, Mr. Grant announced. Gross, muttered Brandon. I never listen to their music. Pretty soon, Heather said, count time. Ah, 
I've got eight, said Nicole. Seven here from Stephen. Nine at North Entrance, said Gabby. And eight from Jonathan. Nothing here for mom, but this looks great with my new shirt, said Brooke. Stephen and Gabby, what's the total, asked Heather. I'll try adding the numbers one by one, starting from the bottom. Eight plus seven equals 15. 15 plus nine equals 24. And 24 plus eight equals 32. Knowing doubles will make things easier. Eight plus eight equals 16, so eight plus nine equals 17. Seven plus seven equals 14, so seven plus eight equals 15. And 15 plus 15 equals 30, so 15 plus 17 equals 32. I get 32, said Stephen. Me too, said Gabby. Added to the 46 we had, we're at 78, Heather said. And the t-shirt factory has just thrown in a yellow shirt, Mr. Grant added. Yellow's my least favorite color, groaned Brandon. Don't you like anything, asked Jonathan. Well, maybe chocolate, said Brandon. Heather asked for a new count just a few minutes later. Nicole said five. Gabby, five as well. Stephen had five too, and Jonathan had six. What are we going to get for mom, thought Brooke. This could be it, said Heather. Jonathan, Jonathan and Nicole, what does that add up to? Six is just one more than five. I can skip count by fives and then add one more. Five plus five plus five plus six equals 21. These are almost all doubles, so that's easy. Five plus five equals 10. Five plus five equals 10, so five plus six must equal 11. So 10 plus 10 equals 20, so 10 plus 11 equals 21. It's 21, Jonathan and Nicole said eagerly. So 21 plus 78 means that we now have a total of 99, exclaimed Heather. The next person to enter the mall will be our winner. Just then, Brooke appeared at the south entrance. Come on, Brandon, she called. I can't find anything for mom. You've got to help. She grabbed his arm and pulled him into the mall. There he is, yelled Jonathan, the 100th shopper. Soon, Brandon was standing next to Heather and Mr. Grant in the food court with his prizes. Football tickets, a gift certificate for a fish dinner, an A to Z CD, and a bright yellow t-shirt. He couldn't believe his bad luck. And here's one more prize donated at the last minute, Mr. Grant announced. A box of chocolate from the candy shop. Great, said Brandon. Finally, something I like. Excellent, said Brooke. The perfect birthday gift for mom. The end. So our story today talked a lot about counting in different ways that we can find the same values or the same answer. So for today's at-home activity, I want you to continue practicing your counting. So in the activity sheet in the description box below, I've included a worksheet that looks just like that. And there's a couple different circles on them and they each have a different value in them. So this first one is 53 cents, then 41 cents, 12 cents, 84 cents, and a dollar and 15. So I want you to use the coins that you have at home and try to add up the different values and put the coins right in the circle. You can also see how many different ways that you can find the answer. So maybe for the 53 cents, we'd use two quarters and three pennies, or maybe you'd like to use five dimes and three pennies. And once you're all done and you have all the sheets filled in with your coins, I want you to take a picture and send it to us at social at cccu.com so we can see what you're up to. That is all for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you again next month. Bye.